Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's all about learning from past mistakes to make things easier for the future. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the value of a good scan tool. To demonstrate this, I'm going to revisit a video that I made about a year ago explaining overheating due to the engine cooling fans. In this video, I went deep into how the fans work maybe a little bit too deep and probably not the easiest video explanation to follow. Today, I wanna to show you how much simpler that whole process could have been if I would have spent a little extra money and bought myself a good advanced scan tool. I'll put links to the video that I'm referring to in the description below, as well as links to any product that I reference to in today's video. Let's get started. So I'm gonna use the ThinkScan 689. It's a Bluetooth scanner, so I can be sitting away from the car and still get my readings. So if you look right here, it's engine coolant sensor one, it's 91 degrees. And then if I look over here, engine coolant sensor number one, the voltage 2.49. And it tells me it'll go from zero to five volts and up here, the 91.4 degrees, it'll go from minus 40 to 246 degrees. And here, engine coolant temperature sensor number two, 66.2 degrees. Engine coolant sensor number two, voltage, 3.18 volts. The scan tool I was using that day would not show me two sensors. I knew it had two sensors, but I just couldn't get the scan tool to show me it had two sensors. Also, it wouldn't show me the voltage. So I had to get a multimeter and back probe the sensor and check the voltage. Had I had this scan tool here, I could read the voltage on each sensor and the degrees on each sensor. And that would have made a huge difference and probably saved a couple of hours of diagnosing. That sensor was not easy to get to. It was covered behind all the plastic covers. What else I can do really quickly on this thing is I can turn on the fans. I just go back, go back again. I go to actuator test. I find my radiator fan. I say, okay. And I say, perform. And there's my radiator fan. So I just quickly check my radiator fan. So that's just one of the difference between like a cheaper scan tool and a scan tool that, you know, you pay a little bit more for, but it does more also. Let me show you another scan tool that I have. So this is the launch. Uh, this one actually reads both sensors. The difference is the screen is gonna be a lot smaller. Um, it only works on Hondas. So if you have a Honda or Acura, this is good for that. Um, and it's not Bluetooth. So I'm gonna be in the car showing you this one. This is a launch scanner. It only works on Honda and Acura vehicles. And I might've called it a cheap scanner earlier, but I didn't mean cheap. I just meant inexpensive. And you can see the difference in the screen and the speed. This one is a lot faster. This one takes a little bit of time to set up. But let me show you the ins and outs on this one too. So just like the ThinkScan scanner, it has engine coolant temperature sensor one, the degrees and the voltage, engine coolant temperature sensor two, the degrees and the voltage. You can tell the screen is pretty small and it's a lot slower as far as speed. But I can also turn on the fans if I back up and go to actuator test. And I get a search for radiator fan and say OK. Say perform. Fans on fans off. So if you have a Honda or Acura, this is a pretty good scanner. So this is another scan tool I have, and I'm okay calling this a cheap scanner because it is. 
Whenever a neighbor comes around and he wants to borrow a scan tool, this is the one I give him. So this is the YA200. It's a little code reader and a scanner. So it'll clear codes, it'll read codes, and it'll show some live data. This would be better than nothing. I'll put a link to this also in the description. This is the Innova SDS50. So this would be my second favorite scanner. This one does a lot. If I compare it to the ThinkScan, the ThinkScan has a bigger screen, it's faster, and I believe they cost right about the same. So let me show you the screen on this one. So as far as the Innova scanner, engine coolant temperature sensor one, I can read voltage and I can read temperature and engine coolant temperature sensor two, voltage and temperature. I can also go back and I can go to active tests. I can go to radiator fan. Next. Next. And we're going to turn it on. Fan turns on. Turn the fan off. So yeah, this is a pretty good scanner. Compare the screens. No comparison. All right, so I've got them all sitting here on the bench and I know you're gonna ask me which one should you get because I have them all. Which one should you get? Well, if you're on a budget and all you need is a code reader, go ahead and pick this up. It reads codes, it'll clear codes, and it'll show you some live data. It's small, it's slow, but it's better than nothing. The launch, if you have a Honda or an Acura vehicle, this works pretty good. It's slow, the screen's small, but for Honda and Acura, it works pretty good. It'll get the job done. As far as the more expensive scanners, these are about $500. Um, big difference, screen. This one has a larger screen. This one's Bluetooth. So you can carry this around the car. I can turn on the fans while I'm out here. I can do my tire pressure monitor system while I'm walking around the car. Bluetooth, you're not tied to the car with a cord. Love it. Um, also, updates. This thing has lifetime updates. You're never gonna have to pay for an update. The other ones, Every couple of years, you got to spend 150, 200 bucks on updates. I hope you learned something in today's video. As far as scan tools, you want a fast processor, you want a large screen, and as far as updates, a lot of manufacturers give you two years of free updates. After that, it's like $200 a year to upgrade your tool. This ThinkScan, this one gives you lifetime upgrades and it's a Bluetooth scanner. So you can't beat that for the price. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing. Links to all the products will be in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Don't